today, Black. Um, like I said, we present y'all with a little information here and there. So, we kind of got to gas this thing up and speed along. So, I'm about to drop y'all three, four more things right now. And um, on behalf of Shalom Lahayim, Purified Drinking Water, this is Judaic Black. And here is a little history of why blacks are looked at as threats. Cue that music I like. Every day I miss money away. I am a, I'm a material slave. Trying to polish this ball in this chain. The answer lies in the complex history of the world and the role that black Africans have played in it. Throughout history, black Africans have made significant contributions to the world in fields such as mathematics, science, medicine, architecture, language, metaphysics, religion, and spirituality. They were the pioneers of civilization, laying the foundation for subsequent developments in the world. Despite these significant contributions, black Africans have been portrayed as inferior and threatening. This negative portrayal has been perpetuated by the Western media, which has long been dominated by white Europeans and Arabs. One of the primary reasons why non-black people felt threatened by black Africans was their physical superiority. Throughout history, black people have been known for their strength and charisma, which made non-blacks feel like they would eventually dominate if they were allowed to participate in their matters. As a result, non-blacks created a new system that excluded black people from positions of power and instead made physical labor seem inferior compared to more sophisticated jobs. This system was propagated by European colonists who saw themselves as delicate and fragile and therefore considered these traits as superior. Greek philosophers such as Aristotle further perpetuated this idea by considering slaves as people born to be subjected, and most of these enslaved people were black. As a result, brutal punishments were made for black slaves because it was believed that they were less sensitive to pain. This dehumanization of black people made it easier for non-blacks to justify their enslavement and exploitation. Another reason for the perceived threat was genetic annihilation. Non-blacks knew that if they married black people, their genes would become submissive and eventually become extinct. This was seen as a serious threat, and as a result, black slaves were forbidden from marrying non-black people. Mating results in the fusion of genes from the male and female, and the child's appearance is the manifestation of the dominant genes. Non-blacks feared that black genes would dominate, resulting in genetic annihilation. These attitudes toward black people were deeply ingrained in society and persist to this day. Furthermore, the fear of black people's intelligence is another reason why non-blacks felt threatened. During the times of slavery, black people were not allowed to read or write. This was because slave owners knew that black people were intelligent and capable of learning, and they feared that they would use their intelligence to overthrow the system of oppression that had been set in place. Even after slavery was abolished, black people were still denied access to education and were forced to attend substandard schools, which were underfunded and lacked resources. This was done in order to maintain the perception that black people were intellectually inferior to non-blacks. This fear of black intelligence still exists today and is often perpetuated by negative stereotypes in the media. Black people are often portrayed as uneducated and intellectually inferior, which reinforces the notion that they are not capable of holding positions of power or making meaningful contributions to society. This perception is not only harmful to black people, but to society as a whole, as it limits the potential of a significant portion of the population. The history of black Africans as the first human civilization is a fact that is supported by history and fossil records but unfortunately, it is a fact that has been denied and overlooked for centuries. The very existence of black African civilization challenged the Eurocentric view of history that was so prevalent among non-black people. The concept that black Africans prospered when no other race even existed was, and still is, an unbelievable and unorthodox idea to many. Centuries of time have allowed some black Africans to migrate and come to Asia and Europe and today the people living in those regions are actually predecessors of black Africans. This truth has been a bitter pill for non-black people to swallow as it challenges their long-held beliefs about their own superiority. 
the idea that they are the predecessors of the same race they have been calling inferior for centuries is a tough one to accept. But the truth is, it doesn't matter whether they accept it or not. Genetic testing has already shown that Europeans have between 4 and 20 percent of their genes similar to Northwest African ancestral groups. No matter which human you choose, they would have traces of African genes in them, proving that black Africans are the actual ancestors of everyone. This fact is a significant threat to non-black people because it challenges their sense of superiority and their long-held beliefs about black Africans. If Africans are the actual ancestors of everyone, then it makes non-black people just as African as black people. It breaks the illusion that non-black people have been holding on to for centuries, and it proves that Africa is the center of the world, not Europe or the West. In a blink of an eye, black Africans could be added to the power equation, which would be a significant threat to non-black people. The truth about black African civilization and ancestry challenges the very foundation of their beliefs and would force them to confront their prejudices and biases. It is up to all of us to recognize and accept the truth about black African history and to work towards creating a more equitable and just world for everyone. The feeling of threat toward Africa and its people goes beyond just physical strength, genetic annihilation and history. The most resourceful continent on earth, Africa has always been a source of envy and desire for many non-black people. The abundant natural resources like oil, gas, gold and other precious metals found in Africa only add to the sense of threat that non-blacks feel towards black Africans. The concept of Africans possessing so much wealth and resources is difficult for non-blacks to fathom and accept, especially when compared to their own relative lack of resources. European colonizers, for instance, stereotyped Africans as being less intelligent and incapable of making their own decisions. They justified their colonization by claiming that they were there to bring civilization to Africa ignoring the fact that Africans had their own rich cultures and civilizations long before Europeans arrived. Today, the vestiges of colonialism can still be seen in Africa, as many African nations continue to be exploited for their natural resources by foreign powers. One example of this is France, which holds 50% of the gold reserves of an African nation that was colonized by Italy and Britain. In return for the gold, France prints money for African nations, which is essentially worthless paper. This is just one example of how non-blacks continue to exploit Africa for their own gain, perpetuating the sense of threat and animosity towards black Africans. There are numerous examples of how non-blacks continue to exploit Africa for their own gain. For instance, multinational corporations from developed countries, including the United States, China, and Europe, continue to extract resources from Africa at an alarming rate often with little benefit to the local population. In many cases, these corporations form partnerships with corrupt African governments, enabling them to gain access to valuable resources without having to pay fair prices or share profits with local communities. Another example is the ongoing land grab in Africa, where wealthy non-blacks are buying up large tracts of land for commercial farming and other purposes, often displacing local communities and destroying fragile ecosystems in the process. Many of these land deals are conducted in secret without the consent or consultation of the affected communities and often result in little or no benefit to the local population. Non-blacks also continue to perpetuate harmful stereotypes and biases about Africa and its people, further reinforcing the sense of threat and animosity towards black Africans. For instance, many Western media outlets continue to portray Africa as a continent of war, famine, disease, and poverty, while ignoring its rich cultural heritage, economic potential, and diversity. This negative portrayal not only reinforces negative stereotypes, but also undermines efforts to promote development and investment in Africa. Non-blacks also continue to perpetuate systemic racism and discrimination against black Africans, both within Africa and abroad. This takes many forms, including unequal access to education, health care, employment, and political power. Despite efforts to promote equality and social justice, black Africans continue to face significant barriers and obstacles in their quest for equal rights and opportunities. This threat is also manifested in other ways, such as the lack of representation of black people in various aspects of society. Despite the efforts made towards diversity and inclusivity, black people are still severely underrepresented in positions of power and influence, such as in teams, committees, talk shows, and films. 
This lack of representation only serves to reinforce the idea that black people are not worthy or capable of holding such positions, which in turn perpetuates the feeling of threat and inferiority towards black Africans. To sum up, the perception of black Africans as a threat is deeply ingrained in history and continues to persist today. Non-black individuals have historically felt threatened by black people's physical superiority, genetic potential for dominance, and status as the original human civilization. These perceived threats have led to systemic discrimination, repression, and violence against black people throughout history. It is time for non-black individuals to recognize and address these deep-seated prejudices and misconceptions about black Africans. It is time to embrace and celebrate the richness and diversity of black culture and to acknowledge the vital contributions that black individuals have made and continue to make to our global society. Black culture is not a threat, but rather a source of strength and inspiration. It is time to break down the barriers of ignorance and fear and to promote understanding and respect for all cultures and peoples. By doing so, we can create a more just and equitable world for all.